Welcome back to Man vs. Meeple, the show where we talk about all things board game related. Today we're bringing you a Kickstarter preview for a brand new game from Any Boards and Cards. It's called Bees. And this is oh, a fun real-time dice game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a real-time in the vein of like a fuse and things like that where everyone's frantically rolling dice. Uh huh. And this one's pretty fun because it does some things where you're playing all over the table a little bit. Right. So let's get this out of the way. It is a two to four player game retail, but the Kickstarter version is going to have a fifth player right. added in. The game comes with five dice per player. Now, these right. dice have special engravings on them. Uh, three of the dice that a player will have will have a killer uh, stinger yeah, on it. Killer right? bee. Yeah, killer bee. Yeah, and then the other two will have a worker bee right. on it, which is kind of acts as a wild. Each player will have a stack of tiles in front of them, and those tiles represent flowers on one side and then honeycombs on the other side. And each of the flower sides have three die facings on them. Some of these die facings are singular dies, in which each of them can place a single solitaire die. Some of them are group dies, in which players will have to play three dice at the same time or two dice of the same type type on them uh, to activate them, so to speak. And what's cool is these stacks are not just dependent on the player in front of them. Yeah. You can be playing on stacks to the player to your left, to the player to your right. All seven wonders, so yeah. So everyone is trying to complete these flowers or pollinate these flowers, if you will, right. with their die. Right. Uh, there's also these cool eraser bee. Yeah. They're called helper bees in the game. You'll be collecting these from helping people pollinate their flowers. They're also worth victory points. Right. Three for whoever has the most at the end of the game. And then for every two you have at the end of the game, you get a singular victory point. And then there's a card for each player. And these are called beeline cards. Yeah. The beeline comes into play. There's a couple tiles in each stack that is a sort of a wild flower, if you will. That's right. And it it's used when you build your hive. It can be used as any color because these colors on these tiles aren't uh, related to any given player. That's right. Everyone has a bunch of different colors. But the beeline cards, once a wildflower comes out, someone declares beeline, uh-huh. and anyone who has all five of their dice yeah. at that moment can participate in the beeline. So you take your beeline card, and you're just rolling dice con- continually to try to get one, two, three, four, five in, in a row. In sequential order. You have to get them in sequential order. Right. So whoever does that is able to claim that wildflower. So here's how the game works. Each player will collect their five dice at the start of the game. They'll collect a stack. These stacks are um, lettered. In lettered A through E. You'll shuffle up your stack. You'll put the flower side face up. The flower side has the die on them. There's a honeycomb, a honeycomb side. You're going to put one of them in your hand and your dice in your other hand. You're going to slap it down, and then everyone simultaneously throughout the game is going to be frantically creating a beehive with your hands and shaking them and then releasing them. And what you're doing is you're trying to put dice on your tile that's directly in front of you or the tiles to the left and right. Exactly. And that that beehive motion is important, just like with a lot of dexterity games. They want to keep the rules similar for everyone, so you have to cup them with both hands and shake them around. So when you place your die, you're looking to where you can place them. Now, as we said, some of the die facings can let you place solitaire dice on them. Some of them are grouped together, so you're looking around the board. For instance, David over here has two ones, so I could go one and one. I don't have a three, so we're going to be going around until someone places a three on there, either myself, the player to David's right, or David himself. The player who has the most die on that tile, when it's completed, collects the tile. Right. They get the tile, and then anyone else who participated in the tile gets to claim a helper bee. Now, if all if three different players have contributed that, because each one of these flowers has three facings, it's called a buzzkill. Yeah. And nobody gets the tie on the tile. The tile is uh, simply discarded. Yeah, there's a lot of fantastic bee puns in this game, for sure. Exactly. When the tile is collected, the player will take the tile, and as we said, each of them has a different color on the back side. They're going to start building a beehive with this, and they're going to place it down on their side. And this is all about having sets. Yeah, this is sort of the the tile placement aspect of the game, building your hive. You start with, obviously, one tile, your Mm -hmm. first tile you collect. But then when you grow from that, there's some rules. Yeah. You know, you want you can place any color next to any color, right. but you're trying to group colors together to right. score points. Right. Uh, I think there's another rule. Once you've placed your second tile, the third tile and beyond has to be touching two sides of other two other tiles. Yeah. So each tile at the end of the game that you have that has the same color connection will score you one victory point. Wilds will connect to everything. So there's this cool honeycomb right. fixture at the end of the game, which will be scoring the majority of your points. And that's why those wilds come into play so well, because a wild doesn't necessarily have to be orange or mm-hmm. have to be red. It could be placed in such a location 
that it's going to be counted on, you know, the red as a orange, any color. That's right. This game is fun. Yeah, it is fun. <laughs> I, dexterity games are not, or not dexterity, my, but these nor- real-time sort of fast-paced games aren't normally my thing, but this thing has got the right mix of fun and sort of has a carefree attitude towards it. I love the, you know, playing off each other's, you know, to the, the player to your left and the right. That's right. Obviously, with these games, you're not. It's hard to pay attention to what everyone's doing, so it's all sort of in good sportsmanship. You're not, you know, cheesing your dice or manipulating your dice at all. You're just rolling and trying to do what you can. One important thing, though, you, when you roll your dice, unlike a lot of other dice games, you can't set some aside and go, "Oh, yeah, I'm going to save that five and six in case." Yeah. You, whenever you roll your dice, Pick you have to take all, all the yeah. dice that you have available. And roll them. And it's not just about rolling the dice and doing whatever it says. There are facings on here. Yeah. And as we said, there's helper bees, which can be wild. Yeah, the helper bees are wild. The the killer bees, those are interesting. Those yeah. come into play a lot more rarely. Mm-hmm. If you get two of those on any one roll, mm-hmm. you're able to just show them and take any flower to your left or right yeah. on the table, whether it's completed or not. And turn it into honeycomb. Right. Yeah. And the people who already have dice on those tiles... They don't get the helper bees in that instance, too. So that can be pretty key. So the game plays really quickly. You're in and out in about 15 to 20 yeah, minutes. Yeah, 15, 20 minutes, I think. Uh, again, points at the end of the game are scored for adjacency for light-colored honeycombs. Uh, one point for every two of the helper bees that you have. And then the person's called the bees knees, whoever has the most of them. And they score <laughs> three victory points at the end. Right. And that's basically the game. This is a really fun real-time, uh, real-time action game with using dice. Games I don't typically gravitate towards. And we've yeah, seen of those... two of these recently. We saw this and we saw Braintopia, which is another really quick yeah. game that you have to really think on your feet and move quickly. And they're both really, really fun. Yeah, some of them drift off into that area of being a little too tense to yeah. be fun. This isn't one of them. Yeah. This is one of those ones that's lighthearted fun. You know, even when you're missing out on a die, it's uh, that, that sense of failure when you're trying to get your one last die on the one in front of you, because that's yeah. the one you're going to most be looking at. It's hard to keep track of everyone's. But right. And then when someone reaches over and places that last die right as you're about to, uh-huh. it's both it's frantic disappointing and fun. but fun. Uh, the game ends when all of the helper bees have been collected. There are six per number of players right. that are included. Um, and Or if three of the stacks of flowers have been depleted. Right. And the game's over. Add up victory points. That's the end. Guys, go check this one out. It's yeah. really, really fun. You have to play it. It's called Bees. Bees. By, I don't know how many E's. Five E's in there. By Indie Boards and Cards. It is on Kickstarter right now. If you have questions, make comments below. Please subscribe to us, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and everything else that we do here at Man vs. Meeple, and we will catch you guys next time. Bye-bye.